They're here really to speak out loud for what Pennsylvania must do for people with intellectual disabilities when the legislature passes the state budget this year. There are a lot of signs here today. Let's see those signs. A lot of signs with different messages, but they all have the main message. They all speak the same. We are not going back. We can't go back. We're not going back. We can't go back. We are not going back to institutions. We're not going to rely on large institutions as we did 50 years ago. We're not going to rely on large institutions to be the home of a person. People living with disabilities should be living in the community, in a place that's safe for them, a place that encourages them to be part of the community. The legislature must make sure of it. They must add funds to the budget. Young people, many of them here, who, receive, who have received special education are not going back. They're not going back home to sit and do nothing as they did years ago. They should be going on to a job with supports and services, those services that will help them keep a job. And adults who've been living in homes in the community, they're not going back. They're not going to be uprooted from their homes because we say there's not enough money. The legislature has to make sure of that. They have to reject proposals to reduce current funding. Pennsylvania is not going back. We have no reason to go back. Going back is no place to go. We have to move ahead. Today we have, speaking up for people with intellectual disabilities, Senator Andrew Dinneman, Representative Mert, Representative Pashinsky, we have them here with us. We'll hear first from Senator Andrew Dinneman. Senator Dinneman represents Pennsylvania's 19th district. He's from Chester County. He's always on the go. He's always advocating for communities and families. He works, he's worked for people with brain injury, for people with autism spectrum disorders, for people with intellectual disabilities, a long history working at the county level and now in the Senate. Senator Denham. Thank you. Well, good morning. And I'm here to affirm with my colleagues from the House that indeed we are not going to go back. I come from a county which had Pennhurst as an institution, the closing of Pennhurst, the integration of people into the community was one of the finest hours of this Commonwealth and this nation. We are talking, we are talking about a fundamental civil rights issue and the history of this nation, the history of this, of this Commonwealth is how we advance the rights and integration of all peoples into our society. We're not going to be judged by history or by our God about how wealthy we are or exactly how much money we save. We're going to be judged on whether we're good and decent people, people who understand the goal of America. And the goal of America is to plainly take the fundamental principles and make sure that every citizen is fully integrated, is fully respected, is treated with dignity, so that we indeed achieve the America on the image of which we were founded. Let me further say to you, that the age of institutions is over, and we're not going back. Let me say to you that we understand the growing number of caretakers who are over 60 years old and the need to assist their children, many of whom have, in their lifetime, been taken care of by their parents. But you know people get old, they can't take care of people in the same way as when we were 20 or 30, or even 40 and 50. And we're going to make sure that every child 
but no matter what their age, uh, that every parent understands that their child, no matter how old or how young, is taken care of, of aren't we? Because we're not going back. We understand. We understand the huge waiting list that exists within this Commonwealth. That waiting list existed when I was County Commissioner in the 1990s, and it has grown today. It still exists. And we're going to cut that waiting list. We're going to make sure we get provided with services, right? Because we're not going back. And we're going to make sure that the 3,000 individuals who are in an emergency situation, who have no place to go, who are not guaranteed any care, are taken care of because we're good and decent people, because we understand what a commonwealth means, because we share William Penn's vision of a place where neighbor helps neighbor, and because our strength comes from each other, and because we're all one Pennsylvania family, and we're not going back. We also understand, and understand clearly, that each and every person, the 700 students who graduate, who have become 20 years old and are no longer served through the public education, we're not going to allow them to sit in houses with nothing to do. We're not going to allow their human potential to go unutilized uh, in our society. Everyone is of value. Every citizen is needed. Every person is part of a community. And we're going to make sure that those graduates who reach 20 years old are helped, aren't we? Because we're not going back. And so, so, so finally, let me just say to you that we're gathered here today and I'm so happy that we have this support from these two fine state representatives. We're gathered here today because we understand the rights of people with disabilities, because we understand that every human being should be treated with respect and with dignity, and because we understand that, the whole, that this is a fundamental civil rights issue. And we gather here today to make Penn's vision of Pennsylvania a reality and to make sure that the American dream, the hope that America represents, is shared with everyone because we're part of one common family. And finally, as one family of Pennsylvanians, let us all say together what? We're not going back. Thank you.